Beauty is Karen here today. Um, today I've got this beautiful spring look. To me it kind of reminds me of lilacs. Um, <clears throat> it's got some purples on the lid, a little bit of green under the lower lash line, and white on the waterline. So if you would like to see how I did this look, then keep watching. Alright, like always, I have primed my lid with my e.l.f. eyelid primer in sheer. And then for a base, I used my NYX Jumbo Pencil, and this one is in Milk. For my transitional color, I'm going to go into my NYX, I'm sorry, my Ulta Matte Palette. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of Camel, which is this matte brown right here. Sorry, with all the with all the change in the weather, I'm a little congested today. But I'm going to place that in the crease and just above. I'm going to use the same brush, and I'm going to use most of my colors are going to come right from this BH Day and Night palette. I'm going to go into the night side and I'm going to use this kind of lightest shimmery purple color. And I'm going to go right under the highest point of my brow and that's going to be my highlight. Then I'm going to take my e.l.f. C brush. Let me get it wet. And I'm going to go into the day side. And I'm going to pick up some of this light lavender purple color. And I'm going to pop that on the entire mobile lid. I can honestly say I think that the C brush is probably becoming one of my absolute favorite brushes. Just applies the color really, really nice. Okay, now I'm going to pick up my e.l.f. blending brush and I'm going to go into some of this purple right here. And I'm going to pop that on the outer V. And I'm going to blend that up into the crease and above. Then I'm going to take my Defining Eye Brush by e.l.f. and I'm going to go into some of the darkest purple in the palette. And I'm going to pop that into the outer V and bring that into the crease and just blend those two purples together a little bit. I'm going to take some of this black with a little bit of gold undertone right here, just a little teeny tiny bit, and I'm going to add that to the outer V, just to deepen that up just a little bit more. I'm going to grab my blending brush, and I'm trying to remember what color I used right here. Sorry. Do a look on one eye and you can't remember what colors you used on the on that eye when you're doing the video and you feel like an idiot. 
Oh, well. I'm just going to use that kind of shimmery peachy color just to blend everything out so that there are no harsh lines. Then I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk again and I'm going to line my waterline. I'm going to take my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm going to go into some of the color that I used for the highlight, that lightest purpley color. And I'm going to go right around the inner tear duct area with that. I'm also going to use that to set to set the white on my waterline. Then I'm going to pick up my other concealer brush and I'm going to go into some of this green on the day side. And I'm going to run that right under the lower lash line. Then I'm going to flip the brush over and I'm going to go into the, the lighter green that's right next to the darker one that I just used. And I'm just going to pop that on between that white and the darker green just to blend the two together. I'm going to take my NYX The Curve and this is quickly becoming my favorite eyeliner. I will definitely repurchase this. And to use it, all you have to do, it's got a little groove right here. You can just put your finger there, hold on to it. and just give it a little flick. It definitely does get some... It does take some getting used to. And then I'm just going to line the rest of my upper lash line. I thought I'd get another tutorial in before we get hit with our next line of thunderstorms that's scheduled to hit Michigan again. Oh, I'm getting so sick and tired of this rain. Go away and get nice. Of course, the farmers are probably very happy about it. So I'm going to curl my upper lashes. And I'm going to apply a good coat of my Maybelline The Rocket to the top and bottom lashes.
This is another product that I will definitely repurchase again. I absolutely love it. Also, I'm really, really excited. I, um, I got an email from Coastal Scents about a new 120 palette that was on sale for 20 bucks, and I went ahead and ordered it, and it should be here at the beginning of next week. So I'll be doing a haul video on that, and I'll keep you posted. So that is the finished and completed look. Please thumbs up this video, comment, subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Google+, on Instagram, or on Facebook. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll talk to you again soon. Bye now.